Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I really debated on making this video for a long time, like years. And I think it's because I'm like worried about giving my secrets out and this is how I make like 90% of my money. I'm not gonna lie, this is a lot of money. This, you can, if you use this system, you should probably be making in excess of half a million dollars a year, just kind of give you um, some numbers to live by. And so that's why I really debated on, on using this because um, Dang it, I don't want to give my secrets away to my competition, but I've been very blessed and I feel an obligation to help other agents that have not been very fortunate and that have been struggling on lead generation specifically. And so we'll get into that today. Hey, look, the cost of tuition today is really you have to like and you have to subscribe and please comment on the video. I like to bust the YouTube algorithm and it really, really helps me uh, get a little bit of traction and it makes me feel like you guys love me and then I make more videos and then I can share more information with you and the guys love me even more and then it just makes everybody feel good. So I appreciate if you would like and subscribe. It means a lot to me, so thank you. Let's get right into it. Let me talk about intent-based marketing for two seconds. I want you to really think about the, time, the, the flow um, of a new prospect when they're trying to search for a home. Generally, the first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna find a neighborhood that they like. It might be, if you're in Denver, it might be Highlands Ranch, or maybe it's Lodo, or maybe it's downtown, or um, Littleton, or something like that. Or if you're in Phoenix, it might be Arcadia. I, I operate multiple cities. Somebody's going to Google and say, you know, um, Goodyear, Arizona, homes for sale. That's generally where they start. And they start to find that they wanna live in a specific subdivision. And so it might be like Agrotopia Gilbert Homes for Sale or something like that. And, and they start to narrow things down a little bit. And so what you wanna do is stop competing for the Denver Homes for Sale. Stop competing for the city homes for sale because the cost per click is ridiculous. That's where Redfin and, and Bing, or not Redfin, uh, yeah, Redfin, Zillow, Realtor.com, Homes.com, they're all paying for those clicks and they're not doing it very efficiently so it bid, you know, the cost gets bid up and essentially that's what happens. Your cost per lead is gonna go through the roof, cost per click is gonna be like $4 a click, it's just ridiculous. So don't do that, but go for the long tail keywords. And so go for the subdivisions. And so what I've done is I've built out about 2,000 landing pages here. And so I literally went through and I found every subdivision in a geographic area and I made a landing page specifically for that subdivision. And yes, I did it myself and yes, it took a long time. It's worth it because what I want you to do is run dynamic search ads in Google. If you don't know what that is, there's a great course on Google AdWords in udemy.com. I took it, it's fantastic. Uh, not a testimonial, I'm just saying it was like 15 bucks and it changed the game for me. You can also find free courses obviously on YouTube and then uh, Google does offer courses for free on Google AdWords. I suggest you take that. If you don't wanna do it yourself, I'll throw a testimonial out there. I used to use Brian Short. He's in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'll put his contact info in here if he's cool with it. Uh, reach out to him, he can help you out setting up some dynamic ads for you. And so um, I use a system called Sierra Interactive. That is my website and that is also my CRM. And so let me give you the flow of this thing. So here's what happens. A buyer goes on Google or Bing and they search for um, Highlands Ranch Homes for Sale, right? Denver, Colorado or something like that. My landing page will pop up. My little text ad will pop up there, right? And so you're gonna see a text ad, it'll be like Highlands Ranch Homes for Sale you know, click here or something, something, Kenneth James Realty is awesome and you should click here. And so people click on the link. They get instant access to all the homes for sale in Highlands Ranch. Some of them are pending. Some of them are actually sold. Some of them are active. They start clicking on these things. As they click on the properties, they get prompted to sign up on the website, just like Zillow does, Realtor.com, Homes.com, all the other big guys do, um, Trulia. And so when they pop up, they're gonna enter their information. They can sign in with Google, they can sign in with Facebook, or you can just do old school and put their email address and then create a password and do that. And so they can sign up and that becomes a lead. So that's the yes. When that yes happens, a couple things, a series of events happens, right? It goes pushed into the CRM. Agent gets a notification that says, hey agent, you know, Bob Jones just signed up on the website. Go ahead and reach out to him. But behind the scenes, I use a system called GGMS Coaching. GGMS Coaching is a plugin tool that goes inside of Sierra Interactive. It's fantastic. Again, not a testimonial. No, they don't pay me for this. Sierra Interactive doesn't pay me for this. Um, but what happens is, is that a series of automations happens. Number one, they're gonna get an email. It tests the validity of the email address, right? Then they're gonna get a text. And these things happen about three or four to five minutes later after they sign up. If it happens like instantaneously, you know it's not a personalized email. So we wanna give the sense that you know, that engagement is real and true and that there's an agent behind that text and there's an agent behind that email. And so then, you know, that doesn't look just automated and, you know, 
they instantly dismiss that kind of stuff. So there's a little bit of a delay built in, but then it follows up for you for about 10 days. And this system has actually booked showings for us without us knowing. And so we've had people reach out and be like, hey, I'm here at the property. And we're like, where are you at? Because we didn't have a showing you know, scheduled, but heck yeah, they did. Because GGMS Coaching actually went ahead and booked and confirmed that showing. So it's a very, very powerful system. So you got to understand the automations today are just insane. Uh, a lot different than it was when I started in real estate, and that is for sure. And so the big dollar thing here is honestly, you got to do the follow up and you have to do a lot of the manual follow up. That means reaching out to clients, setting them up on searches in the MLS. If you use Flex MLS or Matrix or Paragon or one of the other MLS systems, set them up on an automated search based on the properties that you, they're looking at. You can see what properties they've hit. Um, set them up on a search and then call them, reach out to them and say, hey, look, you know, Bob, I'd love to show you homes in Arcadia this, this weekend. You know, there, here's four that I found were pretty cool. Let me know if you, you know, want to head out for a little bit. That works and you're going to convert these guys into buyers, but it takes a lot of follow-up. Sometimes they're not ready for six months. You know, GGMS coaching, you have to have a system in order to put them on a drip campaign for six months, 12 months, 18 months, 24 months to nurture that lead and start that relationship and do the follow up. Segment your week out and block out time every single day to do follow up, to do the nurturing of these leads. You'll be very, very, very successful. What happens if they say no? and they don't sign up and they bounce and they go back to, no, I hate to say it, but they go back to Zillow or they go back to Trulia or Realtor.com. Well, I've installed a tracking pixel on your browser. And so that allows me, it's called cookies, you guys are familiar with cookies. That allows me to go back through and display ads on Google and Bing network. It allows me to retarget them on YouTube. And so what I've been doing on YouTube is very, very interesting. I, I show them a series of videos in order. So the first video, it's a pre-roll video they're gonna see, um, a paid advertisement that is like, hey, are you looking to buy a home? You know, my name's Carl Freund, I'm an expert. This is what I do for a living. I'm a very strong negotiator. Here's my value add. The second video might be like, hey, you haven't clicked on my ad. You know, do you not love me or something like that? The third ad might be something like, hey, look, I've got a great hack for you. Here's how I'm gonna save you a half a point on your mortgage. You know, please click the link below and then you're gonna send them to a blog post or another landing page if you're smart and start to start that process again and, and really brand yourself. It's a very, very, very powerful tool. When we're talking about using social media, a lot of you guys are using social media the wrong way. You're actually doing ads on Facebook, you're doing ads on Instagram, trying to fish for buyers, trying to fish for sellers. That's okay, but a lot of those demographics that we used to use to do targeting are now removed. And, you know, they got hit with a huge lawsuit a few years ago, and so they removed a lot of those personal information categories that we used to use to target. So no more income, no more um, zip code, unfortunately. You know, that was a big one for us. You can't target by that, you can do a radius, and I think the minimum is 15 miles. So I found that by doing retargeting ads and targeting only people that are interested in my product or service have been fantastic. My cost per lead is way less. And so that's what you should be doing on Facebook and Instagram. I'm not gonna go into how to do retargeting ads, that is a special ad audience, um, and there's some quirks in there. So please you know, go on YouTube or go on Udemy or something like that, and do a couple of tutorials on these things. I think it's gonna really, really help you out. The idea is to get them to click on your ad again and drive them back to a landing page and start this process over there, start that nurturing process. But at that point, you've already started to build a brand. And so the, the propensity for them to convert is much, much higher. They're much more likely to convert and driving your ad costs and your lead costs down. So, guys, any questions on that? Please reach out to me on social media. Uh, again, like and subscribe. That is the cost of tuition today. This is a very, very, very valuable system. Again, I'm doing about a thousand leads a month using this system and my cost per lead, depending on the geographic area, ranges between seven and three dollars a piece. And so you can understand the power of this. Yes, it takes time to set up, but you got to put in the work. And so it's as simple as that. But please, if you have any questions, reach out to me on social media. I'm always available. I'm always very good about re responding back to comments too. Like and subscribe. Dang it. I appreciate you. Hey, look, have a prosperous day. Um, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Can't wait to see you soon. And have an amazing day. Take care. See you.